It's time to dish, and we are here in the Winn Dixie kitchen with our friends from Black Sheep. Well, one friend, executive chef Waylon Rivers, and we are making something unique that I can honestly tell you not only have I never tasted, I didn't know existed. <laughs> so, what are we looking at, chef? Um, so we do a um, we make a house-made bacon, but we use lamb instead of the traditional uh, pork that you'd use. So it's the same cut of meat that comes from the belly of the lamb. Um, just a lot of people aren't familiar, or you know, don't really try that cut of meat from the lamb and we just try to use it because it's delicious and you know it's an interesting preparation for something that people don't get to try a lot so so it, you all do a few different dishes with lamb and when we were talking before going on the air you mentioned comfort food with kind of a, a twist a way to enjoy it without doing the same old same old right like we try to get uh, things that people you know maybe wouldn't go to their comfort zone to try so we do it in a familiar way um, just to make it more comfortable and then to, get to try something new because we like to do new things. Here. Comfort zone, comfort food that's not in your comfort zone. There, there you go. go. Okay. Exactly. So now the key is how would you serve something like this? Um, so, I mean, once, you know, once, you know, it takes five days to cure this. So then, but when we get an order of it in, we get it nice and, uh, you know, just a good sear on the outside to make it nice and crispy and it's very tender on the inside. So the next step would be the plating. Um, we do a little slicing first and then start plating so you okay can, so we need to come over here first yeah, I'm you can do plate. some plating for okay, me too wonderful um so but first you know i'll just cut it real quick just to make I'm sure i'm anxious to see what it looks like sliced because it's really you tender you can oh yes yeah and do it from the curing process it kind of keeps it that nice uh you know red color mm -hmm. um but it looks you know that's great so yeah. is that about the size of a serving is this yeah. a, a it's an appetizer, an appetizer. Mm -hmm. okay yep so um what we're gonna do we're start with uh plating some of the uh, boiled peanut hummus. So, um, yeah, so we took something that also would be familiar, you know, hummus and lamb goes together well, but we make a little southern style and um, I'll let you put a little bit of this on the plate. So okay. what I want you to do is just kind of push your wrist that okay. way. Okay, oh, so, so I'm spreading it out because it's going on top? Yeah, you want to like kind All of right. get the length of the plate. So just Now, is lamb bacon something you could purchase like at the butcher or the grocery store or is that something, because um, I know you said you cure it. Yeah, well like, you could get lamb belly um, at a butcher, you know, and uh -huh. then cure it yourself. It's just like bacon, uh, it's just like, you know, pork bacon where you do like some salt, sugar, and we do uh -huh. juniper and uh, rosemary. So, I mean, it's a simple process that a lot of people aren't familiar with, but you could do this at home. It'd take about five days and then we just smoke it, um, you know, to finish the process. So, and when you serve it at the restaurant, all of these things are on the plate. What do I do next? Yeah, so we're gonna um, go ahead and put our lamb on there. I'll do that, it's okay. a little warm, Thank so you don't you. burn yourself. Thank you. And yeah, so. We lay this on the plates, and then I can have you put some of the uh, pickled strawberries on there. Okay. So you can use, uh, you can use these right here. Oh, it's good. Nice little was... fancy uh, okay. So, so any way I want to be pretty? Do like between three and five. Usually okay. we do, like to do odd numbers. Oh, look who's here. Who I'm sorry, I had a crash. Out for food. This looks amazing. Would you like me to hurry and plate it, Mark, so you can taste some? Uh, I don't just... want to say that, but... Yeah, that's a good idea. So what, what about this? What am I looking at here? Um, that's uh, sorrel, so it's uh, just like a herb. It has like a nice lemony oh, flavor to it. And it will be prettier when you go to the restaurant. <laughs> so honest. obviously the restaurant, that's a place to have the experts do it. But if you're going to do this at home, what are you looking for when you buy lamb? Um, well, I mean, like I said, if you're going to do, you know, lamb bacon or something adventurous and something fun you could do, but, uh, you know, you just want like a nice uh, marbled piece of lamb uh, like, um, belly. So it's got like the mixture of the nice fat and meat that you get with bacon. So, but um, just want like fresh product, any butcher will give you, you know, I, I would ask for a bone out too, because a lot of times it comes with bone in, so. That makes well, sense. why don't you I take, like a, it, so the take a taste. Important. And then if you would like to learn more about Black Sheep and their menu, you can visit River City Live TV. Always click on the As Seen on RCL tab. What do you think? It's, it's, it's so good, good. yeah. It smells amazing.